Hey guys, it's me. I know you're probably not expecting a St. Patrick's look right now, but I made it a long time ago and I finally had the chance to upload it. Enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I've been in my A for so long. I know it's been like about maybe two months since my last video, but I'm sorry. It's just I've been so consumed with work and like obviously if you work, which is like everybody, you know it's like sometimes there's times when like your job consumes you and you don't even have time for like your own social life because then you get home and then you're just so tired. So that's lately been like the case for me. I've also haven't really been feeling well. <laughs> My dog is just, <laughs> she literally just put her ass up, like, to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I'm being honest, I haven't really been feeling well, like, mentally. I've been, like, <sighs> kind of sad. Anyway, sorry about that. I just had to take, like, a quick little crying break. I don't know, it just sounded, like, so real once I said it out loud. And I don't know, just, like, my... My mental health hasn't been all that great, but my mom actually, she got me uh, the Lucky Charms palette and like the these like makeup brushes, the six piece eye color pencil set, as well as the Lucky Charms Make Some Magic, I believe it's called the Marshmallow Charm Lip Gloss. First off, this is the brush set, which is really cute. It has like all the marshmallows like from the cereal in here. And next is the palette, which I mean, again, look at it. How cute is that? It's red just like the box. All the charms are in the front. And if you open it, this is how pretty it looks. I really like how they included like that kind of green, minty, like Tiffany blue uh, eyeshadow. Because that's literally like the color scheme that I have in my room is like that color and white in my room. I'm not sure if I'll be doing, if I'll be playing around that much with color, but I'll see once I get to my eyes. And then here is a six piece color pencil set. And then the first one is Whimsical and it is the Horseshoe Charm. I hope you guys could see that. And it is very smooth when I glided it on my arm, on my wrist I mean. And it's actually like a lavender purple, but it also has little uh, sparkles in there. That's really cute. Next is the Moon Charm. And again, this one has... Oh my god. Again, this one has like the little moon charms like all over it. And it is called Delightful. This one doesn't have little sparkles. Here it is. And it is like a nice, almost kind of like, I don't know, I guess like kind of royal blue with the satin finish just like the purple one next is the green one and it is the clover hat uh, marshmallow one and and it's called mischievous and what I like about these is that they're actually like wooden pencils almost like the Mac ones and it is a nice uh, satin kind of frosty green next is the unicorn charm and the name is optimistic definitely need to be more optimistic oh god and this one is gold how fucking cute oh my god that is very cute yes that is definitely gold i really like that one that was a nice surprise i honestly thought that was just gonna be straight up yellow next is the shooting star charm and this is name imaginative oh and this is actually a very bright kind of scarlet orange and then last but not least, it is the red one. And this is the balloon charm and it is called Cherry. I really like the pigment on this. It's almost like it could pretty much be like a lip liner. And sorry for my nails, guys. I just haven't had time to like repaint them at all. And then next, because I just can't wait to see how it looks, I'm gonna open... <gasps> This is the Marshmallow Charm lip gloss. Look how pretty that is. And it has a Lucky Charms logo right in the front. The real question is though, does it smell like marshmallows? That's what I want to know. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh my god, it does. That's so cool. So first is this one, and it is a Morphe LC1 brush. 
Next is the orange brush and this is a Morphe LC2. Next is a Morphe LC3 brush and this would probably be great for blending. The green brush which is a stiffer kind of feeling uh, brush. <laughs> And that is a LC4, LC5, and this would be great for applying either eyeliner or personally, I'm thinking I'd use that for like shadow under my eye. Next is a LC6 and the purple brush, and this one is double-ended with a brow pencil <laughs> brush at the end. I'm not sure what it's called. I forget. And the angled. Uh, I guess eyeliner brush on this one. They're all really soft. But I did go on the, like a little retail therapy at Marshalls. I ordered some stuff online from Ulta. But starting with Marshalls first, I got this top. And it kind of has like this metal clasp like kind of like opening thing in the front. I guess just for like some details but I like how it's kind of like scrunched up and it has like all this texture and it looks like pretty it's kind of like a mesh type but it's thick enough and opaque enough so I guess you can't see your bra under next I got this one I thought it was pretty cute it's just checkered black and white with like a little bow in the front and it has like that scrunched up like stretchy kind of texture on the back and I also got some hair accessories, which I don't even know why. I mean, but then again, I was like kind of mopey, so figured I'd treat myself. I got this headband, and it has like a chain at the top. And I only got it because it's, I feel like it's gonna match a dress that also has like some chain detailing. And I got these clips, which I thought were really cute. They're very sparkly. And I'm actually gonna put the butterfly ones on because it is spring, so might as well use those. And I also just want to get my hair out of my face. I don't know anything about hair, so when I was thinking of making this video, I was like, oh, maybe I should like curl my hair or something, but I'm honestly like so tired. I don't feel like curling my hair right now. I hope that looks cute. <laughs> oh wait, how am I gonna put... Ah, oh, do these only go on like one side? Because if I put it on this side, it's gonna be upside down. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll try one of like the simpler bar ones on the other side. That way I won't have like an upside down butterfly. I'm just gonna twist and put my hair back. That's pretty cute. And I also got, this is totally unrelated, but I did get these uh, rose scissors for work. If you're a cake decorator, you're gonna love these. I mean, I actually like them because that way I don't have to use like those very thick uh, scissors to like pick up my roses and like look how thin that is this actually come they do come apart but it's fine because then like you just like uh, place them on top of each other and you just start going like this and then they'll fall back into place but I really like these because then I don't have to dirty my actual scissors and these are fine enough for you to like actually insert the rose like on the cake and it's like thin enough to like pull out and like it doesn't leave like a big hole, you know? Whereas with regular scissors, you do. Next, from Ulta, I did end up getting this very cute um, shower cap from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. And it says it'll keep your hair dry and, fr and frizz free and protect your blow dry. I thought it was going to be like a satin finish, but it's not. It's just kind of like very smooth. But it looks like this. And on the inside, it is just plastic with a bunch of pink polka dots so very cute and I decided to get the cherry one because like I don't know like my red hair so like yeah and I also got this Bobbi Brown the skin long wear weightless foundation with SPF 15 in the shade warm beige I actually ran out out of my other one so I wanted to restock 
because I really like it. Like honestly, I think it's kind of like sheer feeling and it doesn't really feel like you're having like a lot of like foundation on your face so it's not too heavy. And I also got the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint in the shade Bare Raspberry and I really like it because it looks nice and red. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on. My lips are so chapped, it just murdered this poor little bomb. Like, all I see are like a bunch of lines now. But these chapsticks are so good, they're my favorite. I think, honestly, because I saw like Elizabeth Olsen doing like a makeup tutorial using all Bobbi Brown products, so now I have to buy all Bobbi Brown products. Sound like that girl from like Mean Girls. And the main reason why I chose to buy those Bobbi Brown products is because with like a $50 purchase or more of Bobbi Brown, you get, you get this hydrating mini skincare set. And I've been thinking of updating my skincare because I've been really liking the Bobbi Brown uh, products. Like their uh, lotion, like it is the all-in-one primer and moisturizer vitamin enriched face base. I've been really loving this one and as you can see it's like almost done. Since I really like that, I wanted to try like their hydrating face cream but I figured maybe start off small because what if I don't like it which I kind of think I will like it because I feel like it's gonna be very hydrating for like my dry skin um, this is the hydrating face cream and it also came with the hydrating eye cream it doesn't really smell like anything it just smells like nice cream yeah and the same like for the eye cream it just smells like pretty fresh and then this is the soothing cleansing oil so i'll probably try that once i take off all my makeup tonight i also bought this uh first aid beauty kp smoothing body lotion along with the body scrub i've tried the body scrub if you guys suffer from like having like those little like red bumps like on the backs of like your legs i highly recommend it i read once in the review that some girl put it on like uh, in the shower but she let it sit for 10 minutes and then after that she just like uh, rubs it into her skin a little bit more and then rinses it off and I've been doing that and that's honestly been working for me I I don't know how I even got that stuff on my skin to be honest I think I just looked one day and like they appeared I don't really know why I think I do have like a little bit on my arms but it's not as bad like as on my legs and they're not really too noticeable unless you like you know like you like <laughs> zoom in and like look at my legs and then last but not least this is the one I'm mostly excited about it is the Valentino Roma born in Roma yellow dream perfume and I got the 1.7 ounce I remember going to Sephora after I had COVID, once I was like healed obviously. And I remember spraying some of this onto my wrist and I remember sm it was smelling so good. I think it was before I had COVID because that's when I actually had my smell and it smelled so good. So because I remember it smelled good, I, I had to buy it. So how is your guys' day going? I don't really know what I'm going to do after this video. Sometimes I was kind of thinking of doing something spontaneous and just driving to the beach and just, I don't know, just think about life over there. I don't think I'll be driving that far, honestly. Gas is too expensive nowadays. So I'm thinking to myself, is it really worth it? I don't think so. Maybe I'll just find something else to do. But I mean, at the same time, I would kind of want to go out since I'm already dressed, you know? I hope if you guys are going through kind of like a sad time in your life or you just don't feel like yourself lately, I mean, I guess it's normal because that's all part of growing up, right? And that's how you become like, you know, your true person, but it just kind of sucks, you know? And that's why I chose to make this video was because I figured, you know what, I've been feeling like my life has been going like in a cycle. It's like a routine now and it's like the same thing every day. But yeah, I figured like making this video would distract me and it honestly is. I do have friends, but sometimes like, I don't know, I, like when I'm like this, I don't feel like bothering anyone to talk to, you know? Because if I'm sad, I don't want to, I don't want to like make other, like another person feel sad. And I know like I probably should like talk to someone, but it's like kind of like those moods where like, you know, you could get over it yourself. This isn't at all how I expected my first like 
in-person video to be like but it is <laughs> and you know what it's fine because it's a it's real it's how i'm feeling at the moment this is exactly why i haven't been making videos i struggle with editing i not really i feel like i've been doing like okay but when it comes to editing it's just like oh like i already know it's me sitting down in one spot in the house just like moving things around so 32 pistachios later <laughs> Now I'm gonna start doing my makeup. So first things first, I'm gonna start uh, cleaning my face up with uh, the Fresh Deep Hydration Rose Toner. And I do like this toner, but now that I'm getting close to reaching the end, it's really annoying when I get all the stupid rose petals. Like, you see that? There's like not much coming out so like now it's actually a little bit annoying to actually get some product on the little cotton pad so hopefully I finish that soon also I just realized I had a little pistachio trash on my teeth over here hope you guys didn't see that but if you did oh well anyway so now I'm going to apply the rose deep hydration cream my skin has been loving this for work I normally just put this on and I'm good to go but lately I've been feeling like my skin has been really dry so I do have to go back to using this stuff and then because St. Patty's I'm gonna be using the Kristen Dominique JD Weighty primer and this is the cucumber smelling one if you guys don't like cucumber this is not for you and my dog is just like playing under the bed right now. She's just scratching and like growling, having a little mental breakdown of her own. <laughs> now going in with my green beauty blender. Gonna be using this, my Bobbi Brown uh, foundation. The thing about this foundation is that it's actually pretty thick. It's not very liquidy, so it's not like falling off my beauty blender or anything. Next, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer, and I really love this concealer. It is in the shade Medium 210. I like how thick the applicator is. I'm gonna apply that to my chin. Sure, I'll put it here. And under my eyes, and on my forehead, and nose. Oh, I'm blend, blend, blend. And before I apply my translucent powder, I'm gonna uh, apply this NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It is in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to apply this, that way I'm applying all the wet stuff to my face first and then I could finally add the dry ingredients. I've never really blended this out with a beauty blender before, but I'm feeling pretty lazy. And I don't really want to touch that wet stuff with my fingers right now. That's what she said. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, I'm sorry. Using the Fenty Beauty Butter Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to apply that to under my eyes to catch any fallout of the eyeshadow we're about to do. Now, this is where the fun begins. So, I'm wearing a green dress right now and it's kind of like... It's pretty much this shade, so I might just be sticking to that, but the neon green is also really calling my name. Maybe I'll just use all of the greens, I don't know. Alright, but I have to use the brushes from the collections. I really need like a very tight uh, flat brush, and these are all kind of too soft, so I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna be using this uh, flat brush number seven from BH Cosmetics. It is from like their highlighter yellow collection. And I'm gonna be taking the color Cereal Milk and I'm just going to apply that all over very lightly. I don't want to do too much. So I'm sharing what I had on my brush, I'm sharing it to the other eyelid as well. So now grabbing the green. And make sure you tap right on the hat for good luck. I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. 
right, so now picking up the red brush from the collection, I really want to use this olive green just because I just really want to use it. And I'm thinking, I don't know, I'll just apply it after, maybe like in the middle. And I'm going to apply some on my crease as well. This is where it gets dark, people. I'm already going to set the path for like the darker shades. I'm just swooping it across my crease just to like kind of make like a shadow. You know what? I'm going to bring it a little bit inwards too. Just so I get that line evenly across my eye. But careful not to blend it on the inner corner. I'm just going to go ahead and go in using the enchanted forest color using the clean side the other side of the brush that i didn't use right after the olive green or the clovers green i'm gonna follow that in with this one and i guess just make like an ombre effect on my eye from lettuce to dark next i'm going to apply clever and i'm going to apply that one right after the enchanted forest we just did and i'm not going to blend it just yet i want to wait till i apply the last color and then i'll blend it okay and now finally we're gonna be applying the last green shade charmed at the end of our outer corner And I'm going to kind of like feather it in a little bit. I like how the outer corner is like the only part that has the shine. So now I'm going in with the orange brush of the collection. And I'm just going to lightly go over these colors. I don't really want to touch them because I don't want to like ruin anything. I think that's good. I just don't really want to touch it much because then like, you know, I don't want to ruin the progress that we've made because that has happened. Like sometimes I blend way like too harsh. Really quick before I move on from the palette, I just wanted to make some swatches for you guys. So the first shade is the one with the heart charm, which is heart. You can't really see it. It's very like a, it's right here. It's like a very like very light pink. The next one is cereal milk. I'm gonna be doing that right under the heart one. Yeah, it's very like uh, flesh tony kind of peachy. And then next is unicorn, which I'm really excited for that one. And it is a very sheer but very vibrant gold. Next is marshmallow magic and it is like a kind of frosted yellow. Next is the kind of breakfast at Tiffany's color called playful and that is how it looks. Next is the blue moon and it is like a very bright sky blue. And second row is the balloon charm one. Next is the orange and this one is called you're in luck. Next is a yellow shooting star charm one. Leprechaun, which we just used, which is a bright neon green. Clovers, the olive green. And the bright purple horseshoe. And now for the third row, which starts with imagination, which is this beautiful frosty burgundy shade. Next is pot of gold which kind of looks like a mustard yellow. Next is the brown dark brown shade called delicious. Clever which is the dark green shade with the gold sparkles. And enchanted forest which is a dark forest green color. And last but not least we have charmed which is a very dark green with kind of like a dark green shimmer to it as well. And that concludes all of the swatches. So now we can continue with the rest of the face and now I'm just gonna start going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade C3. I'm gonna be removing the translucent using this powder but for the under eye I'm just going to brush it first and then I'll go over with the powder. And now going in with the blue brush, I'm just going to apply a bit of Clever on our lower lash line. 
And then now I do want more sparkles, so I am going to take the shade Unicorn with the clean side of this brush and I'm going to apply it as our inner corner and just bring it a little bit into the green that we have going on here and as well as like our inner tear ducts. Now I'm going into blush using the Balm Cosmetics Balm Springs and it is called In Full Swing which is a nice uh, like subtle pink which kind of reminds me of Max Melba. It's kind of almost like the same thing. So this would be a good substitute if you want like a cheaper alternative. So now I'm just going to dab that on my cheeks. And I'm going to try going in the upwards motion because that's what most girls are doing nowadays. And obviously it's very bright. So I'm just going to tone that down with the beauty blender in a minute. Whoa. Just look somber right now. Hold on. I'm like, this is not going down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I feel like there's not much I could do now. Maybe I'm just being like self-conscious, but in person it looks darker than how it looks on camera. But you know what? I think I like it. It looks fine. So now I'm going to continue with the butter bronzer. And you guys already know this smells so good. I'm just going to be using my bronzer brush that I've been using. And now finally moving on to brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette. I'm going to be taking that purple brush from the collection. And first I'm going to brush off any powder that I have sitting on my brows. I'm going to be using... I feel like that's going to be too dark. I don't know if I should be using the caramel or the auburn right now. I'm thinking maybe auburn. Yeah. Maybe that'll match. Yeah. Or maybe I'll mix both of them. You know what? I'm going to start with caramel just because I want to experience like using that one and see how it looks. I mean, I know my brows are super black, but just want to try it out since it's a lighter shade. It looks kind of cool. And then I'll probably just go ahead and like use the auburn on top. And now I'm just going to blend those two colors and then brush them out together. And now I'm just going to set them in using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Next is eyeliner. And I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now that our lashes are done, I'm going to be using the Bambi False Eyelashes from Colourpop. I literally have like three pairs of these only because like look how cute they are. They're like so flared out but yet so natural and I mean I figured I'd go with Bambi because he is spring. Bambi is actually one of my favorite Disney movies. I mean I know it's like really sad and all but the songs are like so cute. Like the rain song, you guys remember that? The rain scene and they're like <laughs> I'm so weird, sorry. But oh, and then I'm using this duo lash glue because again it has a green label on it. But I'm just gonna like curve these a little bit. Okay guys, so I ended up doing my other lashes off camera because my camera was dying but I recharged it right now enough uh, to like finish recording the rest of this video and I realized I haven't used the eyeliners so I'm debating if I should do like green or gold on the inner corner. I think I kind of want to do gold just to like give it a pop of color and because oh I found the gold like in my eyes. <laughs> so I think yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do gold since I did like a little bit of gold on the inner corner oh and then I also applied some uh, falsies uh, waterproof mascara on my lower lashes and because obviously it's gold right theme is gold 
St. Patty's. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlighter and using the orange brush for this. Whew. That's gold right there. Look at that. Look at that. And I wasn't sure what uh, lip color to use, but I guess my mom put this one in my make in my like my daily makeup bag. This is actually a Kat Von D lipstick, and it is like a nice, very pink nude, and it's called Divine. So I think since we're going like very bold at the top, might as well go nude at the bottom. I'm like always afraid of using nudes like this because it makes me feel like I just grabbed a bucket of yogurt and I just like put my lips in there and it just feels like it looks like I have yogurt on my lips so I don't know how I feel about that but let me see I'm gonna try something right now that's a bit better <laughs> and then I just went ahead and I used the red pencil from the collection And now that my lips are finally done, I'm going to finish this look off with the Marshmallow Lip Gloss. Don't you guys just hate the feeling when like you're done with your makeup and you've been taking forever but yet you still feel like you're missing something? Me too. Now I'm going to set my makeup. Of course, using a gold uh, Morphe Setting Mist. It is this one and it smells really nice so here is a completed look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed every bit of it now I'm just gonna celebrate with some lucky charms and use this as a prop as well <laughs> Is it weird that in the way I feel like I'm eating the makeup? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Seriously guys, get some <laughs> get some lucky charms, get this collection, start doing your makeup, recreate this look, or even just like make something of your own using all the colors of the rainbow. Thank you guys for listening to me and being my friends and like just I mean I know like this video started out all like mopey and kind like sad obviously I wouldn't have wanted to show you guys that side of me so soon but then again it's life and life is not all sunshine and rainbows sometimes sometimes we have to deal with like crappy times in life but always know that there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow <laughs> Oh, that's so lame. But anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.